All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, pretty tired today, so I'm gonna make this one quick, like I always say I do, and then it ends up going for 10 minutes because I can't shut up. So, news is pretty much the same as it's been. You know, there's certain cards that are going up in Carlock Manor. We know that. The lands are going up. Uh, Guild Pact is kind of, kind of, you know, retracing, like we thought it was. You know, um, what it was like 28 for the regular version. Now it's somewhere around 21. Kind of figured that would be the case. I think as more tournaments uh, come out, you know, more more cards are being played, you know, and, and more decks are being figured out. We'll see some others starting to raise um, that blue three-drop enchantment that I still can't remember the name of. Um, something coat, mithril coat. I don't know. I can't. I can't think of the name. That's going up as well. I think that's around eleven bucks. Some people are thinking that's going to drop too. It very well may, you know. But at the end of the day, things are going pretty well there. Um, Reserve list is apparently going going places. I don't know. I'm not I'm not big in reserve list. It's you know just not uh, a spot where I want to be right now. But maybe one day, who knows? Um, but one thing I did want to talk about today, commander. I want to talk about commander. Um, it seems like, oh jeez, God, what was it? 2015? No, it had to be earlier than that. What 2013 when commander started getting. Getting marketed in, uh, when they first came out with those first few decks, um, and I mean from there it's been you know it's been just a major part of this game. And I love Commander. I I play Commander all the time. I have my do I have my deck box here full of my Commander decks? No, I don't. I, but you know I have my huge like PlayStation with uh, you know like six or seven decks in there. I love the game mode. Don't get me wrong. But I think I think I'm gonna have to. I, I want to talk about how Commander is affecting Magic as a game and as as a whole and, and how Hasbro has taken Commander and just essentially made it the premier format of the game. Okay, so in the past few years, we've seen a lot more reprints across the board in all sets. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see all sorts of Commander staples get reprinted in the standard sets, um, sets where these cards really have no place. They're just like, oh, it's a commander card, great, you know. And now we see this sort of step away from, and mind you, I'm talking more like in COVID times and everything like that. We see this sort of step away from the standard format, where standard has always been the premier format of the game. Now Wizards is start, sort of leaning that towards commander, but the thing is, because... Because Hasbro kind of left that tournament scene, they have still have Magic Cons and things like that, and there are still companies that, you know, put on tournaments. But, you know, since that kind of in-person pa paper feel is kind of, I don't want to say left the game, but it, it's definitely not been a major focus, I think this sort of move to Commander, when they don't have any real organized events for Commander, it's always been kind of like a side table at like events. Maybe maybe that's changed now, I haven't been to events um, in a long time, but uh, it seems like they kind of put Commander in this position, and now there's really not much in-person, you know, tournaments or anything for that, but they're all, all of a sudden reprinting all these uh, cards in the standard sets, and it kind of feels like they just said, hey, everybody loves Commander, we're going to sell so much sealed product if we just put all these reprints in the sets, and then when they realize that they completely kind of just dismantle standard in certain ways, it, they just, <laughs> it just kind of falls flat. And my, qu my question is, I, I'm, I'm not saying that this is exactly what I feel, I'm still trying to, you know, sort it out, so this is kind of like a a video diary en entry almost, because my thoughts aren't all there, um, and I haven't all decided, but I've had this thought for most of the day that Commander is slowly ruining magic, um, and I didn't really think, I don't really know if I believe that fully, but this sort of transition into pushing Commander without having much in-person events and things like that um, scheduled out, and then doing all these reprints and reprinting cards to oblivion and lowering the value, it just seems like Commander is a good thing for, I guess, the, the community of Magic, because everybody loves it, it's a great, great game. But now it feels like it's kind of ruining the product. 
and it's kind of it used to be its own separate thing and now every standard set has commander decks and cards specifically aimed in the standard set to be for commander and it just like it muddies the pot too much I miss the days where I, I feel like I, I come on here every three days and I'm like, I, I miss the days when, oh, Sonny, back when uh, 2015 was around and, and I could play with my mono blue Teferi commander pre-con, you know, it, I get it. I get it. I, I, know I, I know I sound old here, but we're muddying too many game modes in to a standard set. They had a place for modern, modern masters. And mind you, you know, modern is essentially like old standard, right? So you put the best cards from all the standard sets and, and you apply them and you apply them backwards, essentially. Um, and then always cards from standard end up in legacy and, and things like that and pioneer and all these things. Don't get me wrong. I understand. I get that. But commander is a completely different game than, than any of these things. It's, it's far more competitive to play the like standard and, and modern. Don't get me wrong, I, I understand there's uh, competitive EDH. I get that. But th we're just starting to see like major tournaments form in that, and they're not even from Wizards. <laughs> like, it, it's just in a very, it's in a very funny spot right now where all I see is people playing like, oh, I'm posting my commander deck and, and I can't wait to meet you at Ma Magic Con and we're play a game of commander, but <laughs> like it's it's standard. Like like I I'm, I don't I honestly I I haven't I haven't been to a Magic Con so um, I'm not too sure what goes on there. But I just essentially equate it in my head to like you know like qualifiers and everything like that when they're usually like a like a constructed sort of format. So if I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments. I'm sure you will. If there's anybody still here at this point, I told you I'd, I'd make the video short, and I'm already at seven minutes. So I guess. My point, or what I'm trying to vent about, is that I'm a little frustrated that these these formats that used to be the center of magic are kind of getting the back seat to commander, but still those set, sets those uh, game modes that are taking the back seat are still being pushed in the pro scene. So it makes this weird disconnect between players, pros, the sealed product. It's like, what are we supposed to do with this? You know what I mean? Like, what, like it, it seems, it just seems all too muddy. And I, I hope, I don't think it'll happen because I think, I think there's been too much money to be made from this. But I really wish they go back to the old commander, like once a year, five decks come out, get some cool new cards. Like we've had some amazing cards come out of that. I, I think of like the guardianship, you know, um, that that whole cycle. Uh, what was that around Akoria when that, when that came out? Like that was awesome. Like, so I hope we could find that place where, where we could kind of get a product for each of these games and, you know, really focus on you know, why players come to play Magic and, and give them products for that. But I just don't think a standard booster box or anything like that, dogs are trying to get in. I, I, I just don't think that's a place for Commander. So if you disagree with me or agree with me or, you know, if you just came to listen to me ramble at a, at a screen for, you know, nine minutes, then, uh, then hit that like button, dislike it, you know, whatever you want to do. But, um, yeah, I appreciate you stopping by. Subscribe if you want more. Appreciate your time.